Okay, so it's not often that I do product reviews on this channel, but every now and then I stumble across something that's actually worthwhile, and today is by means no exception to that. So I wanna share with you my experience with Armorall's new ceramic tire coating, and I wanna go over the application process, cost compared to other tire coatings, and how long it lasts when you're looking at traditional tire shine. And just as a disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. I bought this product with my own money and it's gonna be my unbiased opinions that I'm sharing with you today. So it's my opinion that the tire shine is kind of the icing on the cake for any standard car detailing. And in this case, traditional tire shine typically is only going to last until bad weather basically. So if you drive through rain or any type of other inclement weather, your tire shine pretty much is going to get all washed off. The tires will still look pretty clean after that, but they're going to lose that nice clean shine that you get after applying tire shine. So this is where Armorall is a little bit different in that this product is actually utilizing a ceramic coating which is a silicon dioxide based compound which is going to be much tougher in terms of its durability and sticking to the tires as well as repelling dirt from the surface of the tires. In terms of cost you're looking at just a couple dollars more than traditional tire shine so in this case you can pick this up at your local auto parts store for around $12. It's also available on Amazon for about $20, but it is in a bundle pack. So it'll come with the ceramic tire coating and then also a ceramic rim coating. Now in this case, I am just using the ceramic tire coating only because I don't really have any issues with brake dust on my rims because I rely so heavily on regenerative braking. Application with this is no different than any traditional tire shine. So you wanna make sure you're starting with a nice clean wheel. Typically it's a good idea to go to the car wash first or wash your car. Make sure you scrub the tires to get any thick uh, dirt or debris off of them. So for application, you're gonna hold the nozzle about four to six inches away from the tire and just apply it in circular motion, circling around the entire tire. And I typically will go around a couple times just to make sure I'm getting each side of the tire wall to make sure I'm getting even coverage. And then two key things to note with this one is that you're gonna to wanna to wipe away any overspray that you get on the rims or on the body of your car. And this sprayer is a little bit unusual in that after you release the trigger, it does continue to spray for about half a second. So just something to be mindful of, I would hold it in place or, or continue with that circular motion until the spray actually stops coming out of the can. And again, that's gonna be about a half a second after you release the trigger. So overall, I've gotta say, I am really impressed with how long this product has lasted. And so far, it's been a little over about two weeks and the tires still have a nice shine on them. Especially over this last week, we've had a lot of severe weather in uh, Western Pennsylvania. So I've driven through pretty heavy torrential downpours. The car sat outside while I've parked at work and been absolutely destroyed by rain and the shine is just as good as it was the first day that I applied it. So I'm really impressed with this. It's definitely a much tougher coating uh, for obvious reasons because it is ceramic versus a traditional tire shine. And for the couple extra dollars, I think it's a no brainer in terms of opting to go with this versus a traditional tire shine. So what I'm gonna do now is take the car through an automated uh, touch-free car wash and I'll overlay some footage just so you can see what the tires look like now about 14 days after application of the ceramic tire shine. We'll run it through the wash, see what kind of effect that has on it and then if we do need to reapply the tire shine, I'll walk you through that process so you can have a more detailed look in terms of how that application process goes. So I've got to say, even post-wash, these tires are still looking like they have a decent amount of the coating on them. So once again, I don't know if I've said this enough, but really impressed with this product and definitely going to be adding it to my toolkit of detailing products. So at this point, I really don't think that there's a need to reapply the ceramic tire shine. Again, I will update you if that changes over the coming weeks, but we're going 14 days strong now, and there's still lots of sheen left on the tire. It's still repelling all the dirt like it's supposed to. And I've talked about this in past videos, but I am planning on putting together a more comprehensive guide in terms of my detailing process for the car, as well as all the different products that I use. So hoping to get that out before the end of the summer, so stay tuned for that. That will be coming shortly. Uh, but that's gonna bring us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you in the next one.